And meditation also is to find out, learn whether it is possible for the brain never to be occupied. Because our brains are occupied all the time. About God, about sex, about oneself, about one's own conclusions, beliefs, you know, you, I'm sure you watch yourself, how one's mind is, brain is occupied. When the brain is occupied, there is no space. When, it is occup when, it, when knowledge has occupied the mind, brain, occupied it. How can that brain experience in anything original? So to experience something original, when the brain is crowded, occupied, you take drugs to experience something fantastic. You do. Not that a speaker has taken any drugs. He has talked to many of the people who have taken drugs. They are very they have certain experiences which are projected by their own conditioning, by their own desire, will and so on, of which they are unconscious. Only the chemical alters their focus. And sometimes it does great harm. If one has taken drugs for a couple of years, then your brain is gone. Or if you have played with for a little while, there is some still hope. So one has to find out whether the brain can ever be free from all occupation. That is, are we listening with occupied my brains? to what is being said, or watching your own activity of the brain to see whether it is occupied now, sitting there quietly, if it is occupied. That is, is you are, are you occupied with listening? Or are you just listening? See the difference? You understand? May I go on with this? Gosh! When you are attempting to listen, making an effort, say, I must understand what that chap says. And so you are exercising your will to listen, you are occupied. But if you are listening, because what the speaker is saying is rational, is, is yourself, is explaining yourself. So there is, you are not listening to the speaker, you are listening to yourself. Therefore you are listening very quietly, without any occupation. That is to be aware of yourself, how you are listening. And in this listening, are you learning or merely observing? You see, if you are observing, there is no accumulation. But we say, I must learn what that, what he is saying, I must remember what he is saying, then your mind is being occupied, and therefore there is no space in which you can listen. In the same way, to observe 
without occupation, just to look. 